Hello everybody and welcome to my fourth Excel VBA 2010 tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to show you how to reference rows and columns. Um, so I've started a new book here. Um, so we need to open up our editor again. Um, I've already created a module. I'm just going to create another new sub procedure. So sub um, and I'm going to call it hide rows. Close brackets. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, just put in in here our new code. So with the rows is similar to range. So this workbook got sheets. I'm going to want sheet one dot. And then instead of range, just put rows. Um, and then we're going to put in the row that we want to hide. So I'm going to put in two row to two. And then I'm going to put dot hidden. So rather than using dot value, you can use dot value on rows, but I'm going to show you a new thing you can do uh, just on rows and columns, which is dot hidden, and then I'm going to set it equal to true. Notice how the true highlights the soft blue because it's a keyword again. Um, now if we go back into our workbook and we run this, uh, and what you'll notice um, is if we zoom in here, then it's now hidden the second row on our sheet so we can no longer see it so as we move between them you can't actually see that it's there uh, you can unhide it the same way you normally would if you've just hidden it and using the hide on here just click on hide uh, and then it's back again but if we run our macro again then boom it's gone again um, so you can also so we've set it to true. So we copy this sub and create a new sub. Um, so if I'll just write it again. So sub show rows. Make sure if you're writing a new sub procedure that you give it a, n a new name. Don't just have the same name because then it won't work. So it won't know which one you actually want it to run. Um, and then just type the same thing again. So this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot rows two through to two dot hidden and then equals false um, okay so if we go back into our workbook now and press alt and f8 and then click on the show rows macro and run this and then you'll notice that voila it's unhidden the row um, you could do multiple rows if we go back into here so if we hide two through to four say um, and then unhide two through to three um, and then we run these so if we hide the rows then that's going to hide multiple rows there uh, if we then do show rows then it's still going to keep one of the rows hidden because if you notice when I was typing it in I only unhid two to three so number the row number four is still hidden there now this is very easy to switch to columns um, so I'm, all I'm going to do is is copy and paste this and then switch a few things around so copy paste because I'm feeling a little bit lazy and then just rename these to columns Um, and then rather than referencing rows put in columns here because the columns have uh, letters as their names then we need to use the letters so B through to C and then unhide B through to B and then if we run these so Alt and F8 so hide columns run and then it's hidden columns B through to C and then show columns and this is because I've not forgotten to put columns in here so that's just an example of how my laziness comes back to haunt me uh, press play uh, and then it's it's hidden it there uh, well it's unhidden B 
but it's left C hidden still. Uh, so that's it on uh, rows and columns. Uh, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, and if you if you enjoy my videos, then please subscribe to my channel so you, you'll catch all of my future videos. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.